From Coca-Cola Coliseum in Toronto, it's the American Hockey League's Eastern Conference Final. And tonight, game three between the defending league champion Marlies and the visiting Charlotte Checkers. Game number three of the Eastern Conference Final. And for the Charlotte Checkers, Alex Nedeljkovic will get the call. Well, he's right. He's 6-2 and two with a 2.27 goals against a 908 save percentage, but back in goal tonight. And Kazmir Kaskasu had his eight-game win streak snapped the other night, but he's 8-1 and one on the uh, call the cup playoffs. 1.77 and a 940 save percentage. Well, nobody has played more playoff games in the last eight years than this Toronto Marlies organization, not in the American Hockey League. Here's Baptiste moving along for Lilligren as he fires it in. Comes back along for McEwen, who is back in the hockey game tonight after taking one off. And Lilligren plays it down in for Baptiste out of the corner. Greening after it. Juris as well as he gets the backhander in as this line drives a whole lot of energy. Lilligren cross ice. Rosen toward the goal. Back out the other side. And Juris just couldn't get to it quick enough. Long shot. Stopped. With Brown getting it back. Carrick unloads one, but it's through all the traffic. Here comes another one. Scores. Trevor Carrick from distance. Opens up the scoring. Yurko parked on his right in front of his grill, and he didn't see it. And... You know, how many times do we see it where one team gets an opportunity at one end of the ice and uh, that line of greening cross ice Brown long shot turnaround rebound and it just doesn't make contact and now a tripping call goes uncalled up over the shoulder and in and two nothing the checkers take the lead as the puck Flies up over the shoulder and drops right behind the back of Casimir Kaskasuo. But uh, Tomas Yerko is going to be the man, I think, credited with this goal as 24 Brown takes that shot, and I think it does hit the leg of Yerko and scoot past the Toronto goalkeeper, Kaskasuo. And Brooks takes a shot. It doesn't get through. And back up the line. Lilligren comes back with it, spinning. Lilligren... He's tried to send one to Sam and gave it away, and now a shot right on Casca Sewell off of him and out of play. Moves it back up and out. Quick to it, Mueller coming away with it. Brocco, Carconi to the goal. Brocco back for Borgman, shoots, and Borgman sends it up and out of play. Plays it down the wall. Comes right back, and there goes Bishop. Clark Bishop, breakaway, shorthanded, stop, and then he runs into Cascasul on the play and back the other way, and then steps him on the way back. And a five on four. Yeah, sure. Come up empty. And it's Clark Bishop with the attempt, and Cascasul with the right toe save, and then Bishop gets up, and then the push. Right across the line, Bean cuts back in. Sorella the shot, and that one scores. It finds its way in as it beats Cascasuo. It got on him, it got away from him, and it got in. With a minute 30 left to go in the second period, the checkers go up 3 0. Well, Podorowski is an opportunist, no question about it. But it's all about battle and being in the right position as they enter the zone. It goes from one side to the other. Sorelli just fires the puck. Up ahead, Moore sharply getting it. Now it cuts back in. Moore past Carrick. Can't get the shot away. He still has it. And now Carrick takes it away and moves it ahead to Natchez. Three on two. Back the other way. Marchman trying to even it up. Brown to the goal. Scores. Four nothing. Checkers. A pair of assists in the first period. And now here, Carrick does the job of separating the man from the puck. And then right back the other way, Natchez. It's a three-on-two break. Yurko in the middle. And wide is Patrick Brown. And what a pass, tape to tape. The sauce pass all the way across the ice. And the one-time shot. In center ice, Sorella. Long shot. Fought off by Hutchinson. Knocked down by Geeky. They wait on it. And it is played by Marchman. Archman scores. Geeky makes it 5 0 as Mason Marchman plays the puck and then had nowhere to go with it. Morgan Geeky, as he gets shoved 
And coming in is Jake Bean, and he separates Marchman from the puck, and Geeky just turns, and he wires it. Tipped out front. Marchman seeing some attention again from Didier this time. Carconi tries to get it up and recovers the puck. Back over, Engball out front, tip scores! And Marchment knocked down out front after it, right into Nadelkovic. He makes the shot, and he gets he gets pushed from the backside. It's not Didier who actually hits him. It's Renouf. number 28, yes. As you said, uh, Renouf, and then he falls right on the leg. Stepping back on, but that was a little awkward. It didn't look like uh, everybody was prepared to get get back on. Either way, 60 minutes in the books, and the Checkers now have a 2-1 lead in the Eastern Conference Final.